shortfall in the basic education department is between 79 to 118 billion rand. All nine provinces across the country are in distress and need financial help. From the projections we're seeing, we are looking at about over 70 billion to about 118 billion rand of a budget for shortfall for education in the next three years if the current trajectory holds. And so we need short-term solutions and longer-term solutions to erase the situation because it will not just be about um, the, the, the filling of posts, it will start eating into the ability for schools to be able to provide scholar transport, for schools to be able to provide uh, learning material. And so it's what is very important for me is that I must do everything in my power to protect frontline services. Guajobe has had meetings with the finance minister to try and find a solution. One of her suggestions is to reprioritize some of the government's spending. I've had an engagement with the Minister of Finance, but we're going to have being, having a formal meeting. We're also going to be having a meeting with the 10 provincial treasuries, the national treasury, DBE, and the, 10, um, and the nine provincial departments. That way we want to be able to find solutions and find one another. But at the same time, and so Treasury has been very uh, open to having this engagement with us because, of course, they understand the gravity of the situation. But at the same time, we also have to go to Treasury and say, we're going to cut wasteful expenditure. At the same time, we have to go to Treasury and say we will never be able to, we'll never send back budgets for, from under expenditure. We ourselves as a sector have to also get our house in order. Teachers Union Satu says government's approach towards education is all wrong. The government is treating education as an expense, something that uh, no government that wants to have economic growth, uh, you know, stability and social cohesion in a country and deal with crime um, and, and poverty would not do. Uh, you won't implement austerity measures when you want your economy to grow and therefore I agree that uh, it is a strain but also it's an obstacle but it's also going to exacerbate the inequality that are there because the poorest of the poorest schools are going to suffer. Kwahobe has moved to allay fears of job losses. Because when, when provinces talk about reducing the basket of posts, they're not saying they're going to be retrenching teachers. No teachers are going to be retrenched. Failure to resolve this pressing issue will have far-reaching implications for the future of the country as a consequence of poor education outcomes. Heidi Jokos in Pretoria.